Next, we're going to troubleshoot the makeup card and confirm that it's working properly with the jumpers. So what I did here, using my jumper setup where I have two ends tied together, and the other two ends represent the makeup on probe and the makeup off probe. So the two ends that are spliced together, I placed them under number 13, which is your reference probe. Number 14 probe is your lowest, which is makeup on. Probe number 15 is your highest, which is makeup off. So the water will actually fluctuate between the 14 and 15 probe, which is typically an inch and a half to two inches in the base of the water. So you have to do this in proper sequence. And while I'm doing this, we're gonna watch how the makeup card relay reacts up here. So let's start with a dry basin. There's no water in a basin. Okay, so we're gonna simulate water rising in the tower. Right now, both my probes I have in my hands here are dry. And the first probe that's gonna see water is the lowest one, which is number 14. So I'm just gonna place that right here, make sure it's good and connected. Now, as you notice, nothing has happened yet. That's okay, because water is rising. It's making up. The water is rising um, above 14, and when it touches the higher probe, which is probe number 15, it's gonna turn off. So as soon as I touch this, you're gonna see the makeup card change state. There you saw the relay move, and you saw the light actually go out. So now the highest probe, which is the makeup off probe, is covered with water. As the tower evaporates, water stops to drop. It's going to drop past probe 15, which means I take 15 off out of the circuit, keeping the low probe still under water, keeping it in the hole right there. Water keeps dropping. When it drops below probe 14, which is your lowest probe, you'll see the card change state again. So as soon as I pull this out, the card just changed state. We've now energized our makeup solenoid. So I'm just going to show you real quick again. So we're now making up. Water rises above 14, hits 15. Card shuts the solenoid off. Water drops, keeps dropping below 14. The card energizes the solenoid again. So at this point, we have proved to ourselves that the three cards in this panel are working correctly.